everybody. Okay, so the real estate market's going up, up, and away. All right, so I know. What the heck? You got to have a little bit of fun, right? So here's the thing. So the real estate market, spring has come, and it has come early because the real estate market, without a doubt, has taken off. Now, every single week we go through the metrics. We're going to give you some really great information every single week so you can make the best business decision for you and your family. Make sure you ask those questions. We had some really great questions. Last week we talked about, uh, you know, the uh, not only the market, but uh, to watch the 11 inspection traps you need to avoid as a buyer. And then, hey, as a seller, you should be watching that as to what should I be looking for? Anyway, so that was posted. Uh, we'll be adding more to it. We've got uh, some really fun videos coming up uh, that are going to be walking people through, uh, you know, an inspection process. We're trying to break them down into smaller pieces, very, I guess, you know, more, you know, it's specific, you know, like, hey, here's foundation issues. Here are just roof issues. Keep them a little bit shorter instead of the longer videos, even though some of the algorithms like the longer videos will make them a little bit shorter. That way you can buzz through them faster. Uh, we'll also be having some specialists uh, and uh, as far as in the video. So that's that's going to be a lot of fun. You get to hear people other than myself, which is always fun. Anyway, all right. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the market. So it's March and you're not going to get uh, February numbers, you know, for probably till next week uh, from most organizations. But hey, you're going to get a, a heads up here. We're going to deal with single family homes only. So if we deal with both single family, manufactured homes, condos, vacant land, uh, basically uh, our inventory is about half of what it was this time last year. And last year it was less than half of what it was in uh, 2020. And so it's, uh, we're half of half, which is, you know, roughly we're about 22% of the market of what we normally should have. Uh, on a greater scale. And we talk about that every week too. So uh, most people want to know, you know, what was the appreciation last year? Uh, we saw roughly about 14% appreciation year over year, about 2% higher than where we kind of anticipated. This year, we're uh, looking to see somewhere between 11 and 12, 13% again, only because our inventory is so low. Now, some folks are saying, George, you mentioned last week there were reasons why sellers weren't coming on, but are there any other reasons? And yeah, there are. So if you think about it, uh, as of 2021, people were staying in their home 13.2 years, which is different than a decade ago. For those that don't know what a decade is, that's 10 years ago. It was actually 10.1 years that they would stay in a home. And before that, the decade before that, they were staying in their home roughly 7.2 years. So as we have continued through time, people are staying in their homes longer. So they're not rotating as quickly as they used to. Not uncommon, but that does play a big role in things as we consider the lack of inventory today. All right. so. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on. If we, uh, let's start with our seven day running average. People kind of like to get that one uh, because it gives them a dynamic, a real number that we're dealing with today. So again, on Friday was a massive list date. I mean, massive. Um, in fact, uh, everybody was like, holy mackerel, there's a lot of homes that just came on market. And isn't sad, <laughs> isn't it sad when 1,307 homes come on market instead of like five or 600 homes, people think that's, <laughs> that's massive, considering we should have about, you know, 12, 14,000 listings right about now. Uh, and we have, I don't know, I think it's like 3,200, how much, what do we have today? 3,600, 3,600 homes. Uh, it was 3,100, 3,200 uh, this time last year. So here, I love my charts and uh, they'll post that one. There we go, you gotta love arrows, right? So you can see the arrows right there. That's our February uh, market right there. You can see, boom, it's going up like that. Not, not this, not this, it's this. Normal, that is normal for us. That's not abnormal. It's not like, 
Wow, that's really crazy. No, that's normal. Our spring market is the heaviest uh, market of the year, all right? So when we talk about 1,307 homes coming on in the average of the last seven days, that's a good number. However, however, <laughs> we took off 1,460 1, homes. So we still took off more homes. Uh, sold 1,219. You can see each of those numbers are creeping up. They, uh, last week they were a little bit lower. The week before that they were a little bit lower and they just keep going up and up. And then soon this is going to be well into the 2000s. This will be up into the 18, 1900s. And this hopefully will be in the 2000s to give us that additional inventory for us to work with. Because right now we have 0.4 months of inventory. 0.4. Not even one month. Not even a half a month. 0.4. Just under a half a month. Just under two weeks. I think it's like 10 days, 11 days of inventory available. So if we had nothing else, we were, we we're good for 11 days. That's it. Done. That's not many homes. And that's the entire Northwest. That's most of Western Washington, part of Eastern Washington. That's not very many homes. Just saying. All right. So let's go over year over year for March. Right now, inventory, because we had our big bump here, right now we're up 15.5%. That's awesome. However, we're new on market is only 0.7 year over year, okay? Uh, at Pended, we're down just a tad bit. At, you know, we're down 2.7%. It's not a very big number. This one's a little bit bigger of a number. It's about 2,000 homes. We're down about 12.9%. Let's call it 13%. Why? Because we don't have enough homes. When you look at these two numbers, you can see that they pretty much go hand in hand. And because the numbers are so small, they follow each other, uh, you know, so tight that if I see a bump in a new on market, I immediately know I'm seeing a bump in pennies. Immediately. Why? This is right here. Very clear. All right. February final numbers. Uh, this is really interesting. So when we look at February 2021 versus February 2022. Because <laughs> remember, February 2021 was a record setter. 2020 was a record setter. And 2021 beat 2020. And now 2022. There's a lot of twos in there, isn't there? All right. So uh, final numbers. Total inventory for February. Active listings. We were down 250 homes. Down 4.3% year over year. Just for the month. But we were up 10.4%, roughly about 600 homes, 600 and change, right? I just rounded it off. And pended, boom, right up there with it, 400 homes. And then, of course, uh, overall sales, we were down about 500 homes year over year. Why? Our biggest thing, we just, we're just struggling for inventory. In fact, it's, it's interesting when, uh, when we take a look at, at uh, the seven-day running average, when we take a look at number of reduced, which is 99, uh, we have 23 that expired and 31 that canceled. Should never have that. Holy smokes! When you only have 22% of the overall inventory that you're that you're normally having, and it, no, that should never happen. That only happens when you overprice your home, or you have an incorrect expectation, whether provided by the seller or the or the uh, the, the the agent. Understand that's overpriced because the market is super, super smart. No home, guaranteed, no home will sell for less than market dollar in a limited inventory market. Guaranteed. All right. All right. When we take a look at these numbers, some of these people might say, George, is this adjusting because of mortgages, uh, mortgage interest rates? The answer is no, not at all. Why? Because we really haven't changed. So you can get like, 3.75 with one point today. One point meaning one percent. So if you have a hundred thousand dollar, you know, balance, one point one percent is a thousand dollars. Okay. All right. When we come over here, we talk about four and a half percent for non-owner occupied. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit higher. But uh, you pay a point and a half, you can get. I think it's down to four and a quarter, four, almost four percent, uh, which is really good. Still, uh, that rate is definitely worth keeping if you're going to keep that investment property, you know, for 10 or more years, then that will probably pencil out. I have to take a look at what the cost is. Again, that's based on credit score. That's based on uh, balance. 
uh, and and uh, how much you're putting down, which is really a minimum of 20%. Put 25% if you can, because there is a big break at that point. 25% down is a big deal for lenders. Just keep that in mind. All right. So as we're taking a look at the numbers here, yes, we are seeing more inventory come available. Yes, we are seeing a lot of inventory come off immediately. All right. Uh, today has been an absolutely stellar day. Tomorrow's going to be another stellar day. There's going to be a ton of buyers out there. Still a massive pent up demand for the sellers. Look, <laughs> we want your house. <laughs> you need to come on market. If you are, if you're thinking, oh, I should wait, I should wait. No, stop waiting. It is perfect time. We had a, a seller that came on market yesterday. Uh, they were the only game in town. They only won. And I guarantee you they had, they had what, 12, 13 showings today alone. Look, buyers are absolutely just hungry for your home. We will come out and thank you in droves. <laughs> so if you have any questions, hey, uh, leave them. Subscribe. Subscribing tells us you like what you hear, that you like what we have to say. Uh, and ring that bell so that you know when we're doing these uh, so that you can get updated as quickly as possible. Remember, there's no strings attached. We get a lot of great questions. We normally answer them in about 30 minutes, except for on Sunday. If you have any questions, post them. Let us know what you're thinking. And uh, you can email me too. A lot of people do, which is perfectly fine. In the meantime, you guys have a beautiful day. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.